Oh, man, not again. <laughs> Sorry, pal. Ah, uh, you lose, you're it. <laughs> but I was just it three times. <laughs> Too bad. I'll be it. Why don't we just tell the story? Why are we playing this dumb kid's game anyway? Uh, who's going tonight? I am, and it's not a dumb kid's game. I wanted us to play hide and seek to get in the mood for my story. How's a game gonna get us in the mood for a scary tale? Because hide and seek is not like any other game. You start off in a group, but when you're out there in the dark, you're all alone. You gotta hide and be real quiet, because you never know when somebody might jump out and catch you. My story is about a game of hide and seek, but with a twist. When you play the game in my story, you never know when they'll get caught, and you never know who or what might catch you. Submitted for the approval of the Midnight Society, I call this story The Tale of Old Man Corcoran. Jack and Kenny Harris just moved into the neighborhood and hadn't made many friends yet. It's never easy being the new kids on the block. You'll do almost anything to fit in. But Jack and Kenny are about to find out that that's not always such a good idea. Say hello. Hey, I'm Kenny. This is my brother Jack. I saw you guys moving in last week. Where are you from? East Side. East Side? <laughs> nice neighborhood. Toughest in the city. Yeah, that's why we moved. So, you guys like it here? I don't know. It's kind of a loser neighborhood. It's not. We like it a lot better here. You guys made any friends yet? Mm -mm. Well, if you want. You see those guys over there? Yeah. We get together every once in a while for a game of hide and seek. We're playing tonight if you guys want to come. Uh, I don't think so. Why not? Well, it's just a stupid kid game. That's OK. You guys would probably be too afraid to play where we do anyway. Where do you play? End of Anchor Street, behind the big gates. Why do you say you'd be too afraid to play there? <laughs> Let's just say it gets pretty dark in there at night. Yeah, well, we're not chicken, are we, Kenny? <laughs> no. <laughs> Meet us there at sunset. Unless you're afraid. What does he mean, unless you're afraid? I don't know. It's a kid's game, right? What's so scary about hide and seek? You're kidding, right? Come on, let's go. We're going in there? You're the one who wanted to make friends, remember? Let's go! Oh, man, you should have seen your face. 
voices. You're a comic genius. Where's everybody? Out in the graveyard. We didn't think you'd show. Now we're gonna have to start over. Ollie, Ollie, oxen free! Ollie, Ollie, oxen free! How you doing? Hi. That's Ron Jacobson, Scott Walden, Laura Ayers, Mary Alice Reardon, and Sissy Vernon. Sissy? Just call me Vernon. What are they doing here? I invited them. We got enough people in the group. We don't need any more. Sure we do. The more the better. Hope you don't scare easy. What's there to be scared about? It's just a graveyard. Everyone's dead here. Well, kinda. What are you talking about? You didn't tell them the legend of Old Man Corcoran. The legend of who? Old Man Corcoran. Who was the groundskeeper here? He used to dig the graves by hand. No machinery. He thought he owned the place. So he'd walk around at night, all by himself, just to make sure no one was trespassing. If he wasn't here, he'd be out in the woods by his cabin, just playing his harmonica. That's not much of a legend. Oh, it gets better. They say he was crazy. They say he caught this kid stealing something from his shack. So he took an axe and cut his hand off. Wham! One day, he was digging a grave when all of a sudden, the size caved in on him. He was buried alive. Gross. Some say he still walks the graveyard at night, looking for trespassers. And if it's real quiet, you might even hear him playing his harmonica off in the distance. Can you call that scary? Shoot, my grandma's scarier than that. Yeah, you should try living in our old neighborhood. Now that's scary. Yeah. I like to see how long you last in there, vermin. That's vernon. Whatever. Old man Cochran's out there. I'll believe it when I see it. Are we gonna play or stand around talking? We're gonna play. All of us. The tree's home base. Hide anywhere you want. Anything outside the fence is out of bounds. Last one in is it. Ron, you're up. Ready? Go! One, two, three. This is lame. We should just go home. No, if we go now, we'll never make any friends. Remember friends as you pass by. As you are now, so once was I. Remember in life that you must die. Yuck. Oh, man, Penny, come here. You must be burying somebody soon. Jack, stop it. Don't be such a baby. This would be a great hiding place. Till it caved in. Shh. What is that? It's coming from in there. You think it's old man Corcoran? Nah. It's probably one of them trying to scare us. Let's go find them. Look! Old man Corcoran's shack. Jump out and scare him.
You think they brought Max all the way out here just to play a joke on us? That's what I would do. What if it's really Old Man Corcoran? You've seen too many movies. No one's there. Look, what's that? It's a harmonica. Let's get out of here. Yeah. This is all your fault. Been hiding and ripped your stupid pants, mug wouldn't have made us sweep the garage. Oh, yeah? Well, you're the one who wanted to go there in the first place. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I wish Mom never went back to school. Then we wouldn't have moved, and we'd still be with our old friends. Mom would do a lot to get us out of that old neighborhood. Don't ever wish we were back there in front of her. Hey, you guys are pretty good. Why don't you come do my room next? <laughs> <laughs> hey, so you guys playing tonight? Tonight? Again? Well, you didn't get to finish the game last night. Uh, I don't think we're up to it. Why not? We just aren't. I told you they were chicken. We're not. Vern just told you that story to scare you. She doesn't want anyone else joining the group. I thought you said you weren't afraid of ghosts. I said I believe it when I see it, and I saw it. You didn't see anything. They told you a story, and your mind filled in the rest. No, we saw old man Corcoran. <laughs> sure you did. That's enough. We'll be there tonight. Great. See you there. Jack, I don't want to make friends that bad. This isn't about making friends anymore, Kenny. We gotta prove we can handle it here. We're gonna play their game. Oh, man, let's play already. Yeah, they're not coming. They'll be here. What's the big deal about letting them in the group anyway? I'm tired of the same people all the time. We haven't had any new players since... Since I joined? And you said after me there wasn't going to be any more. Jesse was wrong. You guys got more guts than I thought. Aren't you afraid old man Corcoran's going to get you? Shut up about that stupid story. There's no such thing as old man Corcoran. Now let's play. <laughs> You're both it. How do you figure that? You left the game early last night. And since you wimps are so scared, you can be it together. Yeah, why don't you babies hold hands? <laughs> One, two, three. Four, you think it's gonna be like this all the time? Five, six, seven, eight. Nine, I just wanna make some friends. Ten. Let's go.
This is stupid. We're never gonna get anybody. Listen, hear that? No. It's all made Corcoran. Come on. Why don't we get the others and all go in together? No, by the time we get back, he'll be gone. Old man Corker's out there and we're gonna prove it. How? When he steals harmonica. Close. Yeah, he almost saw us. No, I mean we're so close to getting the harmonica. Now we're gonna have to go get it. We don't need the harmonica. Let's just get the others out here to see him. Where are you going? To get the others. Get back here. Chicken, get him myself. If I die, it's his fault. Give me a flashlight. I'm not holding the flashlight. Well, I'm not holding the flashlight. Dad? Give me my harmonica. Ah! Listen, we saw old man Corgan again. He's up there and he's after us. I stole his harmonica. I don't want you here. 
Did you hear what I just said? Get out of here! Make me! Come on, let's go, Jack. I don't like being in here anyway. Hurry up! We're leaving. Go find your own grave. Sorry, didn't see your name on it. We'll look a little closer next time. Hi, guys. <clears throat> Sorry, didn't mean to scare you. Man, you gotta get out of here. Jack stole Old Man Corkin's harmonica, and he's been Guys, chasing. Guys, the Old Man Corkin stories are getting old. We're playing a game here. Come on, get in. It's a great hiding place. Man, when you forget about the stupid game. Don't you want to play? They can never find you in here. Come on. <sighs> what are you doing here? We... We were playing hide-and-seek. In the graveyard. Just the two of you. No. With our friends. Sissy Vernon. Ron Jacobson. Marcia McLean. That ain't very funny. All those kids are dead and buried. I dug the graves myself. What's wrong with you two? You look like you've seen a ghost. The end. So, does anyone want to play the dumb kids game again? Not it. Not it. Not it. Not it. Not. You're it. <laughs> Goop! <laughs> One, two, three.